Is there a royal connection? Former Israeli spy Ari Ben Menashe, who worked for Robert Maxwell, the late disgraced British tabloid Daily Mirror owner, joins me now via Skype from Montreal in Canada. Ari, thanks for coming on. I said uh, Israeli spy, because Israel denies you are a spy, despite the U.S. jury uh, verdict that you acted for Israel. Tell me about being a spy and uh, why, when you uh, talk about geopolitics, you're not fearful, more fearful, of assassination. I live in Canada, and I will... I wrote a book. It's all out there, and I hope for the best. Of course, it's a book that came out some years ago. Now, Jeffrey Epstein is dead. Now, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, there are reports she's in Paris. You maintain that it was your employer, Robert Maxwell, owner of the Daily Mirror. You say that he was an Israeli agent, and uh, as was his daughter. He was not my employer. I would like to correct that. Okay. We worked together with him. And okay. uh, you say that his daughter, Ghislaine, also, though, worked for Israel, and it was Robert Maxwell who introduced Jeffrey Epstein to Ghislaine Maxwell way before the 1990s, as mainstream media is reporting. Correct. Um, uh, Mr. Epstein was introduced to Ms. Maxwell probably sometime in the 80s. And Mr. Maxwell also thought he might uh, be introducing a, a fellow to date his daughter. He tried to do a favor his daughter, to find her a shidduch, as they say in Hebrew, a match. Okay, and that didn't really quite work out. I suppose what the most alarming allegations that you've been making are that the entire Epstein operation was a honey trap operation to entrap politicians, policy makers, celebrities, people in the media sure. eye, basically, sure. to become Israel's assets. Correct. That uh, it became um, basically an uh, intelligence operation to entrap uh, different politicians around the world. The mainstream media narrative is we don't know about Ghislaine Maxwell. She denies all wrongdoing. And basically, Epstein was a pedophile and uh, was a successful banker. He made lots of money and uh, he was a criminal pedophile and he died in a jail awaiting justice. That's the story. Nothing to do with Mossad, nothing to do with Israeli military intelligence, nothing to do with uh, Israel. Yeah, they would, uh, they would deny it. It's a real bad story. And they would deny it. But uh, he was put straight with Israelis by uh, Robert Maxwell at the time, a military intelligence, and uh, started working there. For them. I mean, I'm sure Israel's ambassador to London would deny that. Over here, obviously, Prince Andrew is a big story because he's supposed to be the Queen's favorite son. What, uh, what do you think? Uh, Prince Andrew is a different story. Uh, this, uh, Prince Andrew wasn't being uh, blackmailed. He was being used as a useful idiot. And um, he was bringing in some of the celebrities to get blackmailed. So, what do you think about Epstein's death? A lot of uh, people are suspicious about it, although uh, it was ruled a suicide by New York's uh, chief medical examiner, despite Epstein's brother alleging it was murder. I was in that facility, exactly in that facility. It would almost be impossible to commit suicide there unless you, you had outside help. Now, I'm not alleging that uh, Black Cube has anything to do with this. What do you know about Black Cube, a private Israeli intelligence company which has reputedly been hired to intimidate people uh, chasing down the uh, Epstein story? I was not uh, in the intelligence service at this time. I really can't comment about that. Do you think, when you heard uh, the news that Epstein had apparently committed suicide... Did you see any echoes of your uh, former colleague, the disgraced Daily Mirror proprietor, Robert Maxwell, when he died on his uh, boat? Yeah, I said, I said it to a colleague. I said, first, Maxwell dies the way he dies, and uh, now this guy. 
but no one's saying that Israel killed their agent, Robert Maxwell. After all, you, you, as you said, you allege Robert Maxwell was an Israeli agent as well. Yeah, yes, he worked for, uh, with the Israelis. That's right. So who would have as, killed? Who would have killed Robert Maxwell? Well, again, I, at the time he was in real trouble over the uh, the pension funds. The British police were about to arrest him over uh, pension f uh, funds fraud, and the Israelis were terrified that once he's arrested, he'd start uh, uh, telling stories 